So I just caught last year's 2019 uh, Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Um, really shouldn't have taken me the time since October to have watched it until now, but I am a big fan of the View Askewniverse, um, which is an alternate universe in which a number of Kevin Smith's films take place and have a shared universe. And the linchpin characters for these have always been Jay and Silent Bob. And amazingly, they are literal prophets who have personally met God herself. But most of the time, they're a pair of virtually incompetent marijuana dealers. However, they've been in almost all of the U.S. Universe films, and we now have, as of Jay and Silent Bob reboot, two entire films where Jay and Silent Bob are the titular characters. Um, so I, you know, I always do also like uh, alternate universes, and there are uh, a, a number of these, particularly in this film. We have interesting crossovers with the actor who plays a character in the film. Um, it's really rather cool, especially if you like alternate universe stories to start with. But in any case, I uh, caught the film. I've now watched it several times. And I'm going to do a full-on review of it very soon. But how, there was, however, one line that had me literally slack-jawed. So let's just listen to this. Hollywood, where we struck back, yo. Oh, you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Okay, I'm going to just run that past you one more time. Listen to Brody. Hollywood, where we struck back, yo. Oh, you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. One last time, just so we can make sure we've got that statement, what Brody says, in mind. Hollywood, where we struck back, yo. Oh, you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Okay, I have been saying, Hollywood, California, you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy for decades now. In fact, I can even tell you where it originated. In the early 1990s, um, the drinking age in Nebraska, where I grew up, was 21 years old, and in neighboring Iowa, the drinking age was only 18 well, Lincoln, Nebraska is home to multiple colleges and universities, with the largest of them being University of Nebraska at Lincoln, the Cornhuskers. The uh, student body numbers something like 30,000, um, half of whom at any given time at least, half of them are more, more are under the age of 21, but the Iowa border is less than an hour's drive away. So weekends naturally became a complete migration of the UNL student body to Iowa, specifically Council Bluffs, Iowa. It's on the other side of the Missouri River from Omaha, Nebraska, which is a metro area of um, about a million. And um, because it was right across from this large, you know, populated area and only an hour from students where 30,000, half of them are going to want to drink, Council Bluffs became the actual hotbed, serious hotbed of all the nightclubs, bars, strip joints, and drive through liquor stores. Yeah. Yeah, really, they did. I used to go there with a friend who was an engineering student, and I don't remember which of us came up with the saying, but at some point, we started uttering the following words whenever we crossed the Missouri River into Iowa. Council Bluffs, Iowa. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We used to say that every single time that we crossed over that river for several years running. And that, as far as I know, is be, well, the first term this time this term was used somewhere other than the Moss Eisley Spaceport. It was in the early 1980s, and a friend of I and I originated it. Now, years later than that, however, I began applying it to Hollywood, and it has pretty much damn near become of my, part of my general vo vocabulary for this show. There are a number of different sayings that I keep on this show. There's certainly, if you look at my videos, there's no really proof necessary to support the idea that this phrase originated with me. You can go back years in my videos and see using it repeatedly. I have been using it for decades. Kevin Smith, you hack fraud. Jay and Silent Bob have ripped me off. So I'm just going to put it out there for the record. You know, those particular words didn't originate with Kevin Smith. It began with a friend and I decades ago and has become one of the catchphrases of this show, which are more or less in this order. 
where everyone, everyone is entitled to my opinion. Nothing you see in the press is real. Nothing. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds, which is such an important piece of uh, information, by the way, that it is always on my post-credits sequence in every single one of my videos, voiced by Gene Roddenberry, who said it himself. And then number four, we get down to Hollywood, California. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Well, this one's mine, Kevin Smith. I've got eyewitnesses to prove it, and I've got numerous videos where I say it. Jay and Silent Bob ripped me off. Now, on the positive side, we now know that there is a canonical Bill Stone in the Viewisk universe, and at some point, Brody subbed him and ripped the phrase off from that Bill Stone. So, Kevin Smith, when you're making Mallrats 2 and Clerks 3, which I think are still at least in the table, remember me for the cameo, if you would. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.